Rhapsody in Blue is a piece that needs really no verbal advocacy or introduction by me. I mean, it's a piece that's so familiar to everybody, and it's a piece that um, has such rapturous, you know, inventive spark. There are so many wonderful melodies, and um, much of it's for solo piano. Um, in fact, I have also played the solo piano version of it. There is a solo piano version of this, which I, I really enjoyed doing because I found there was so much you could do to try and in imitate the individual orchestral instruments at the piano. Um, so that was so much fun. Um, I'd often open the titles of that piece before Chopin and um, composers like that. I like to make my recital programs quite eclectic and quite varied. In this recording, I'll be using the 1924 orchestration. It's a smaller orchestration, a more intimate orchestration. I often find recording, performing this piece um, with an orchestra, the most commonly used version is the much later one, which is for a symphony orchestra. And the problem with that in performance is that it's so difficult when the band really strikes up in the orchestra tutties that for the piano actually to be heard. So for this recording, we're using the the first orchestration, which is very colourful and extremely interesting. For example, it has a banjo in it. Um, it should be a unique sound.